No problem. Okay, so we have quite a lot of things to do this morning, right? Because I gave us a lot of assignments. So I want to personally review our assignments, like personally, like individually. So I want to see every single person's assignment. So who's the first person that's going to show us the assignments this morning? Who wants to go first? I've seen some people's work. Some people have sent their work to my DM. Someone even did that Facebook work and the person kept CSS, right? The person kept CSS in her own work. So who wants to go first in showing us the assignment? Who wants to go first? Can you guys hear me? Yes, ma. Okay. So I said I want to see our assignments. And I'm also um, looking for Sharon. Sharon Hope, right? She was around for the first day that she just joined, but she didn't join again. I would love to know what her progress is if I'm going to help her out. I don't know that. Ma, please have yes. a question. All right. Okay, you said they are going to go through everything again about HTML today, right? Yes. Okay, that would be awesome because I missed um, Friday and Saturday class. I mentioned it in the chat mm -hmm. on Thursday that I was busy for my aunt's wedding. Okay. So I could not attend the classes those two days. So when I saw the assignments in the group, I was really lost. Okay, did you check the video? There was a video link we sent for that class and there was no class on Saturday, so it was just one class. That is Friday and it was recorded. Did you go through the recordings? No, I have not gone through the recordings. I do not have time, but I will go through it today. Okay. Okay. I trust that if it's that you went through the recordings, actually you'd have had an idea of what we were doing and the assignments won't have looked strange. But since you go through it today, that's also fine. So I'm waiting for, are we, are we not in class this morning? Am I the only one here? Am I the only one here? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. All right. So I said, are we the only ones here? Thank God. Are we not excited to be in class this morning? What's going on?
What's going on? You guys should talk to me. Have nobody did their own work? But I can see that some of us submitted on the camera. Uh, yes, you can. Hello, Miss Titi. Yes. Miss Titi, can you hear me? Yes, Good I can. Hear you. I didn't get the. I just. I don't. I, I was not in the Friday class. So I couldn't, I don't know. I did it, but I don't know if I'm correct. That's why I'm not she got to That share is why I'm saying share. That's why I can help out. Do you understand? Forget about um forget about the mistakes you made. The the whole idea of you showing me is to the end that's what you can make correction. Right? Okay, so at least well, I couldn't school. get the, the link to the third assignment. It's not opening. So it's just the first and the second one, the uh, reservation, travel reservation, and uh, the Facebook login okay. that I was able to do. And I don't know if I'm right. Can I share my screen so that you can see it? Yes, yes, I will share your screen. Oh, the link to the third one did, didn't open. Yes, my it did not open. I tried and tried. Oh, okay. Okay, it's fine if the link card were the open. I'll just check the travel reservation and the other one. The Facebook. Yes, the Facebook, yes. I'm coming, I'll make you calls. Or at least can you make a calls? And have you been made cost? No. I haven't. I'm trying to do it here. I don't know why it's not going. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I've made the only one that can make someone cost. Oh, okay, okay. I've only done it. Okay, I can I can make I can, I can see it now. Don't worry, I share my video. I can share your screen. So this is the VS code. This is the code. Mm -hmm. right? Hello. Uh huh. Ah. Uh huh. Yen Azuagi. Can I continue? So yes. Moses, can you mute yourself? Yes. Continue. I know you can share your screen. This is what I was able to do. So mm -hmm. I have problem with this Facebook. Uh, can you see this? Moses, can you mute yourself? I couldn't do the Facebook at all because I, I'm not clear about it. Okay. I just did what I could do. Okay. Wait. Let me see what you did. There was someone that also did this homework, right? Person did the Facebook part. Person even styled it. Like, it was really beautiful. Well, I don't know who the person is. Person entered my DM. I don't know who the person is. The person added CSH to it, and I've never thought CSH. I'm sure the person would have been. Maybe the person knew it earlier. But the person did a good job. You won't believe that it's not Facebook. It really looked like Facebook. 
but I don't know the person's name. I don't know who it was. I'm going to show us so that we see it. Oh, please excuse. Hello, ma. Yes. Ma, please. You, you know, there was a time I told you about the issue I had. I yes. submitted my own on, on the group chat, but I have I have to snap it. I've tried that thing you told me. It's not working with my laptop and it's destabilizing me. Oh, you shouldn't let it destabilize you. Chinede, I saw your own this morning, right? I guess I saw Yes, but I have to snap it again. I can't. Oh, I, I can't have to snap it, it again. I, I don't know how to send it direct. It's not working with my laptop. Okay, okay. Um, we'll like check that it place that. Ma? I said we'll check it together again today. Okay. Thank yes, you. you don't allow it to destabilize you. Okay, ma. No, I'm still waiting for you to share your screen. I've shared it. I can't see it though. Yeah. Yes, I've been waiting for you since. Or oh, can anybody else see it? Am I the only one that can't see it? It's not visible yet. I can't see it though. It's not, I can't see it. I thought I've shared it. So after I know someone else should share their screen, let me see their own mock. Is that somebody else share theirs? I, I don't think I'm getting it. Okay, okay. Do you know how to share? Yes, I know, but I don't think I'm getting it now. Okay, okay. Let somebody else share this. So okay, will... yeah, let me just show us the person. Oh, my, my. All right, let me just show us the person's work. The, what the person sent. Don't worry, you share yours. I'll allow you to share yours. But let me just show us this work. I really liked it. And I, funny enough, I don't even know who the person is. Because the person sent it to my DM. I don't know. It was not from the group. It was from the group. I would have been easy. I would have, it would have been easy for me to identify the person and to get the person's name. If this is your work, can you signify or can you claim it? So can you see? The person even added. If I didn't tell you that this was not Facebook, would you believe that this was not Facebook login page? I won't believe it. Exactly. It's so similar. Exactly. So similar. But if you see the URL, you can see that I downloaded it actually. This was where I got it from. Coming. Eh, no, no. I don't even know where I got it from. I'm coming on. Again, this was from here. I don't know the owner of this number. This was where I downloaded it from. Oh, it's Miriam. Miriam, are you here? Mary, am I on the call? Then this was her code. She sent in a code on how she did it. I was she did. I was really, really impressed. But she knew the fact that we've not even, we've not done um this thing itself. What's the name? We've not done CSS. She even used the RGB color in. And all of those things. Is Miriam on this group chat? Okay, maybe she's not here. Maybe she's not on the call. Miriam, are you here? Okay. She's not on the call. Well, I was really impressed. So who said I wanted to share? Let me make you cool so we can share. So you can share. Because I've shown you five work does not mean that you should not show me your own. No. Forget about the fine work and also show me your own. Even if your own is not this pretty, your work still matter. Even if you think it's not pretty or it does not look good, it's 
do my thing. I sent my own on WhatsApp. Okay, Kai. Somebody share but, that. But it's, it's, okay. Oh God, what's going on today? Are we not excited to be here? This is a Monday morning. It's like maybe when is Wednesday or Thursday. That is when we should be having this kind of vibe. It's too early for this kind of vibe. It's a Monday morning for crying out loud. Oh yeah, run your code, Anu. You see it? Yes, I can see your screen. Like I can see your Visual Studio code, but I can't see your browser yet. Or I can see your Visual Studio code. Why are you? Why did you put your doc type HTML again from line forty three? Mm, Why is your doc type HTML in line forty three when it's already in the first line? Did you do all your distinct project together? If you did them together, if you've written one doc type, that one doc type is enough. Even if you'll be doing two things, right? Even if you'll be doing two things. So far you have written your doc, doc type the first time. You don't have to write it again. What you just do is that you just continue. You can just leave a line or two lines so that you can continue on the other one. Do you understand? I've run it. Can you see it? You see your Visual Studio code, I can see. Did you share your entire screen or you just only shared your Visual Studio code? Yeah, I only shared my uh, Visual Studio. Uh, and that's why. You didn't share your entire screen. Have you been able to see it? Yes, yes, I can see it now. Okay. All right. Okay, I can see the result form. Okay. I can see your radio buttons, your checkboxes, computer reservation. I can only see that of your Facebook. But there's something I want you to correct from your Visual Studio code. Go back to your Visual Studio code. Well done, Anu. Yes, that doc type head, doc type HTML to body, you don't need it again. Okay, it's supposed to be after like your life 52. 
even that body, you don't need it. And the closing tag of the body and the opening tag of the body, you don't need it. From line 51 to 43, remove it. Then from 40, um, 44 to 48, put it directly after 40. Like you can leave a line after 39, leave two lines after 39. Then remove that 49 and 50. So because you are doing two things, do not mean that you should actually do your doc type and body two times, no. So far is one document here is, if you are using two different documents, that's then you have to start your doc type from the beginning again. So far you are using one document, you can use the same doc type. You can write it in the same body, right? So put from 43 to 47 in between 39 and 40. So that, that, means that one will now be enter, cut it and come and paste it in between 39 and 40. Like at the back of the div. No, 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 the div should not be, it should not be in between the div. Yes. Like this. Um, yes. And where is your closing tag for your form? You've not closed your form. No, no, no. Your closing tag should be a hair. Should be on line 45, but it should align with form. Your indentation, your indentation, you should align with your form. Yes, there. Yes. Yes. But I saved it. I run it, it's that it will be the same. The person that just joined, please can you mute? Okay, it's the same. You can see that it's still running the same way it did the first time. So you don't need to have two doctor page there actually. It's still running the same way it's supposed to run. So you don't need doctor HTML missing two times in one HTML document. So well done, Anu. But your Facebook is not yet complete, but I like what I see. Well done, at least you made an attempt. So Idris, you said you wanted to share. Can I make you co-host now? Yeah, but mine is Thursdays and Wednesdays assignments. I have not completed this one, Fridays. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. You can still share it so that I can see what you did. Let me make you close. So who else is showing me their homework? So apart from all this homework, right, I also gave us some assignments that we should read through those W3 school things. Who did it and who has questions? No, I'm not raising should my respond hand. though. Yeah? I'm not raising my hand. Who is raising their hand? Now, please, I have a question. Mm -hmm. The, my question is from the the Facebook, okay. the, the Facebook page we created. Mm -hmm. Like after the Facebook, the password, your mm -hmm. email, the next thing is login. And mm -hmm. I noticed that and there's another one, forgotten password, then create account. Mm -hmm. I, I, I was confused when I got there because I used the input submit as mm -hmm. that input submit, input type submit for my login. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether I'm supposed to use it again for the create account. Yes. Oh, uh, I was Submit. thinking, should I use the button type? You can also use button. You can use button. It can be button. It can be submit. But for login, login is more of submit. Submit. And create new account is more of log and um, button. Okay, but after after typing the create my account and use the button type, then am I supposed to now 
like once somebody clicks on it, is it supposed to come to a page where the details like your first name, second name, last name, all those details? Yeah, it's supposed to go to that page, but you you've not linked to that. We're just only doing the front end, right? But oh, it's supposed okay. to be a back end page. We well, have not focused on the back oh, end. On that, okay. Not okay. anything on the back end. We're just creating it so that at least you can click on the words. You can okay, because I was trying to understand how it will link to that page. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. I get you. You're welcome. So the forgotten account, uh, forgotten account is a link. Is a link you use. Creating your account, you can use button. Even login, you can use button for login. You can use login for button. Sorry, you said the forgotten password is a link. Yes. Can you see it? Yes. So it's a link, but you will not put your underline. Okay. Because it's that forgotten password. If you click on it, it's supposed it will supposed to bring out the password. No, it's supposed to link you somewhere to forget. Like if normally if you if you click on Facebook forgetting password, right? When you click on it, it's supposed to take you to a place where I will tell you that, okay, put your email. So it's a mm -hmm. link. It's linking you out of that page to somewhere else. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Hello, please. What's the meeting passcode? I'm trying to join with my computer and it's not coming on. Okay. Let me check for you. Is that Ellis? No, I'm sorry. No, you. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, you want to also share your screen, right? Yeah, yes. Okay. Come on, let me check the group description. I don't know. Just a little link that is here. I guess you just have to write the link. Tolu, are you there? It's just only a link. I can inform you that. So, Lou, are you here? Hello? Is it me? Are you trying to say something to me? Yes, yes. We need okay. pass code. I mean, meeting pass code for this link. We just have the link. It does not have the ID and the password um, code. And you just have to click on it. I don't think you need the passcode or anything. Oh, oh. It's asking for a passcode. That's why. Okay, no. I'll try and get it to the uh, chat box. Alice, what you will do is that open your WhatsApp through web. Um, yes, open your WhatsApp on your laptop. Then just go to the, then just um, the WhatsApp the group chat. Just click on the link directly. It's going to go. Yeah. So, what? Open your WhatsApp. Uh, open your WhatsApp on your system. Okay, don't. Then go to the don't. class group. Hello, I've been able to join. Okay. Thank you. So let me make you coast. So you can share. So only two people. I know some people. I know most of you. Some people in chat. I don't know why. Why you don't now want to share? Um, Okay. Wow. All right, I love this. Okay. 
Oh, you even did CSS. Okay, this is lovely. I said I tried putting some CSS. Of I like this your travel reservation form. Did you use CSS or you just only added that image at the background? Mm, Elise. Can you Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. So I actually just added an image. Okay, okay let me try and share my um code. Yes. Yeah, so okay so this is for this is for the travel reservation mm -hmm. so i actually did use a little bit of styling at the top i changed the font and then yeah so so yeah. Well done. I love this. Yeah. Okay. Let me see the other one for the Facebook. Okay. Okay, I'm coming. So for the Facebook. This is for the Facebook. So I did a little style on top mm -hmm. and class. I included some classes. Mm -hmm. And so this is it. Wow. Well then, thank you. And then for the sign up, this is for the sign up. So yeah, that's really nice. Well done. Thank well you. Done. I I love it. Well done. So far, the assignments I've seen, I really like how creative everybody was in order to like put something out there. Who else wants to share their screen? I'm going to see one uh, one more person and then we move. So who else wants to share their screen so that I can make you close? Oh yeah, oh you guys, is it that this class is difficult? You don't understand what's going on. And if you don't understand, I've told you, always learn to ask questions and let me know so I can know where to help you from. Do you understand? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh, you guys, you guys, what's going on? What's going on? Oh yeah,
Okay. See, somebody wants to share their screen. I want to share my screen. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So, Daniel, I've made you host. So, you'll be the last person that will be reviewing their homework. Then, after that, we'll review those other pay, um, places I told you to read. So you tell me what, which part was difficult for you so that I can address it before we go on break. So you can share your screen, Daniel. My PC. Yes, your PC. That's what I'm saying. You've not uh, added me. I have checked. Or oh, is it your phone that made calls? Yeah, it's my phone. You, you made my phone calls. What's your name that has your PC? Danny Elvis. Okay. Okay, I've made that course. All right. I've done that. Can you see my screen? Not yet. I can see it now. I can see your homework now. I can see I did, I did, I did everything in one. Okay, 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 okay. Yes. All right. I can so see the travel reservation. Your yes. full name, email. I can see your check boxes. Scroll down. All right. Is that uh registration form? Let me see the two. The Easy. assignment too. Okay. Yes. Okay. You just only wrote the markup, right? You've not given it a style yet. No, I didn't do that. Yeah, I actually told you guys not to actually because I've not taught you CSS. So we'll do that this week. We'll do that. No, this I tried. Week. I tried doing it, but I was experiencing difficulty, so I just left it. Oh. Okay. Try keeping the CSS. Yes. Oh, well done. Well done. All right. You guys have made me happy. At the point, I was not happy because I thought you guys were not responding. But with what I've seen, I'm happy this morning. And so we can proceed. So well done, Daniel. Well done, Elise. Well done, Anu. I guess those were the only three assignments I saw here. But I saw some other ones on the group chat too. I saw um I saw Chinedu, I saw Miriam. I guess those were the only two to have seen. And for everybody, all the, the, um, the other person that have not do your, done your homework, please ensure and try to do it. Ijoma, did you do your yours? Ozioma, did you do yours, Mr. Ezra? Ngozi. Ingozika, Moses, Adida Mola, Eniola, what about you? Did you do yours? Okay, Murivi said he has not completed this. Good morning, I did mine, but I've not completed it. You know, I had the last assignments, I had the table to do. So I only did the tables and I did um, one out of, I only did the reservation one. So I'll complete it today. I, my laptop is, the the battery is not good. So I'm trying to save up battery for today's class. But I did one. I did okay. this. I will, uh, but I will do the remaining one and I'll submit. All right. All right. Thank so you. For the majority of us, don't forget what Tolu said.
today. She said, try and ensure that your assignment is, is what is in a folder. And where your emails are sent, you just send that folder. So back to what we're supposed to do today. Can I um can anybody tell me where they need help with which part they need help with in this W3 school so that we can Oh yeah, oh. Your second, I reviewed the second part of your homework. For your second part of your homework, in the W3 schools, right? I said that we should look at from iframes to HTML versus XHTML. And if we have any issues, we should tackle them. So these are opportunities I'm giving us now for us to ask our questions before we proceed. So do we understand all those parts I said we should review on our own? Is it clear? I don't have to review it. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Apart from love it, can you guys still hear me? Yes, ma, we can. We can hear you. Did you guys should answer now? What's going on? Did I annoy you this morning? <laughs> we can hear you. We can hear you. Oh, did somebody eat or you did not eat breakfast? In view. If you can hear me, please respond to me, please. We can hear, can you. hear you. All right. So respond to my question. My question is, I told us to go through some elements or some things in HTML in HTML, um, in W3 schools, in the HTML thing we were doing, right? So I was asking that, did we go through it and do we have any questions from it? This morning, what we're supposed to do this morning is to review our assignments and review the other part I gave you in HTML. So if we don't do that, I'm going to start So this is an opportunity for you to ask me questions about what I told you to learn from the iframes to the other part. Is that clear? Yes. Personally, I couldn't go through everything because on Saturday I had to travel. So I was actually doing the recording yesterday and I couldn't go through everything. But I went through just a few like iframes, JavaScript. Actually, that's all. OK, OK. Do you have any questions for me? Like, this is something you saw that is not clear that you need to have more clarity on? No, no. So far, everything was okay. All right. Is everybody on the same page with Ellis? Is everybody on the same page with her? So if you're on the same page with Elise, can you give me a thumbs up in the group chat that you're okay? Or you do not even go through it at all. If you do not go through it at all, give me the upside down of a thumbs up. And if you went through it that you're okay, give me a thumbs up in the group chat. Okay, okay. Idris didn't go through it at all. 
So if you went through it, give me a thumbs up. No thumbs up. Okay, I know didn't go through it at all. I wouldn't go through it at all. Was it that you're okay? You know, I don't know how your weekend was. I don't know what you did. I'm sure it's the time that most of us used to rest. I think that we've been busy all through the week. But regardless, when next I give us homework, let's always try to like do it and to be involved. I'm not really impressed this morning with how we are responding and all of that. So we'll just go for what we have for today. Just make sure you do it. I wanted to help out if you didn't understand. But it seems like you guys don't want me to help out and you guys can figure things out, right? So we'll just move. So today we'll be looking at HTML validators. And I'll be sending a link to us so that we can see the validators and we can see what we did. Oh, is grandma not there? He's just the only one. Oh, you should not follow. All right, so I'll send the link now for the validators here. All right, so I've sent the link for the validator to us. So let's open it. So the idea behind the validator, right, is to enable that we write our CSS properly. Our indentation is correct. All that we need to write, everything is correct, right? So your validator is used so that you can what ensure that whatever you are writing, sometimes you are writing a 100 or something line of code, and there's no way you can properly indent, properly arrange your file. So your validate, validator is supposed to help you achieve that. So there are different ways you can do that. Maybe you would use the URL whereby your document is saved in there, or you validate by file upload. That is, you will save your index.html, HTML, then you upload the file, or you copy and paste directly. So what we're doing now is copy and paste, right? So let me copy a few lines of code into this place. So you can see how that works. Okay, All right, so this does not have so much things. But in cases whereby the code has so much, you copy it and put it in what in your validator. Come here, then you check. 
So the moment where you check, if it is not properly written, it will help you arrange it. So it seems telling you no errors or warnings to show because mine was properly written. So it was not properly written to show you that there is errors and all of that. So for your validators, it has some limitations, right? It has some limitations. So I'll give you an example of one of the limitations. For your, for your limitations using your using your validator. Your validator is never going to tell you if maybe you use the wrong elements, right? First of all, it will never tell you if maybe you are supposed to use P and you now use H1. It will not correct you to tell you that, oh, you're supposed to use P here, you now use H1. It will not help you close some tags if your tags were not closed. Because the only thing it's just doing is that it's just arranging. So it should be, it's just basically going to arrange your files for you, right? It's not going to do anything else. It's not going to do anything otherwise apart from arranging your text for, for you. So those are the limitations of using a validator. But it's actually very important that you use a validator when writing your code, especially when you write one, uh, one million lines of code so that you can what? So that you can rearrange your HTML files properly and make it better. So the validator you can use is this validator by W3 dot org right so that's a very very good software you can use there's also something you can do when you have you know we've done images and all of those things so if your image for instance the image you want to use is a what is a large image right i need to need to use it on its um, smaller scale it's very important that you don't you're not the one that is going to like resize your image using HTML and CSS. You can do that, right? But sometimes when you do that, your image is distorted. You have a distorted image. So in order for you to change that, in order for you not to have a distorted image, you can look for a picture resizer. So picture resizer, you can just click on picture resizer online and you see different picture resizer that can help you resize your image without losing the without losing the uh, the percentage or whatever you want and it's going to fix what you want it's going to meet the requirements of what you want right so you just upload select your image maybe from your computer or wherever you want it to come from and you what you resize it, you make it smaller or you make it bigger. So you can also do that. So that is very, very, very important. You see the usefulness of this. I've sent the link. I've sent the link to the validator. I'll also send it again if you do not see it. So if you do not see it, let me send it again. Okay, yes, yeah, somebody have sent it for me. Yes, so that is um, that's the W3 school validator. So I guess we'll just do the calculator that I told you about, right? Said we're going to do calculator today. So we'll just do that calculator today. This morning. We'll do it together. Then after the break, we'll start looking at we'll start looking at um, we'll start looking at CSS, right? So I'm coming. Okay. So we've not continued with this classwork because we've not started the CSS yet, right? So 
Let me send the link. So I've shown us two things this morning. Yes, it's still on revision. It's, we're rounding up HTML. So we're rounding up HTML. I was showing them validators, how to use your HTML validators, what your HTML validators does, and the limitations with your HTML validator. And I also show, showed us how to resize our image using the resizer. So the resizer will help us resize our image, and we don't have to resize the image. We don't have to resize the image. So yes. So that is that about that. I'm coming. So this is can you hear me? Can you see my screen? Yes, 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 we can. can. Us to do the um calculator part, right? So for the calculator part, there's this course I would like us to do at our spare time, right? They talk about introduction to HTML, introduction to CSS, and all of those things. Forms. We also learn website enable uh, NFs and GitHub page. So why we're learning about GitHub page is because for the GitHub page, right? We are all in different cities, we're not together. And for the group assignments, we would have to work on it together. So we want to collaborate from different places where we are to work on the assignment together. And for us to achieve that, we have to use what GitHub. I don't know if anybody has heard of GitHub prior to today. Has anybody heard of GitHub before today? If you have, can I, can I get a thumbs up in the group chat? Anybody? All right. Okay, so some people have heard of GitHub before. So for those of us that have not heard of GitHub or don't even know about GitHub, GitHub is a software that enables people to collaborate or work on a project from different parts of the world and also is a community that helps us like host most of our projects it's like our re resume kind of right whereby we've done different projects and if you want people or our if you want people that that we want to work for when we're applying for a job to see the projects we've done we can send them our GitHub account so that they can see our repository to see all the old projects we've worked on and all of that. Right? It's like a resume is a means whereby you can collaborate and work on different projects and all of those things. So these the the HTML calculator projects. I'll click on this. But before then, where you want to enroll, like where you want to. I mean, I'm already signed out, signed in, right? That's why it's not telling me to sign in. But when you want to sign in, when I send the link, scroll down to the last place before you sign in. Don't sign in from the top place, because if you sign in from the top place, you'll be asked to pay. It. So if you want to go for free. Sorry, Ma. Yes? I, don't, I don't understand. Okay. Where are we signing into? I'll send the link. But th this okay. way, I wanted us to do the HTML calculator project, this HTML and CSS, right? 
So it will tell you how to add the calculator setup, how to add your buttons, to finish your rows, your adding your max buttons, spanning multiple columns, styling the calculator, button layout, button color and size, overstate and flex base, then Q&A. So let's start with this, right, this morning so that we can achieve the calculator part. So I'll send the link to us now. Then we we'll go to the calculator. So have you seen it? Have you seen the link? Is in the group chat? No, not in the group chat. Oh, sorry. Yeah, here on Zoom. I see, just sent it to somebody's direct message. You know when people send me direct message, the this thing is not to everybody yet. It's just be on that person. I'm trying to send me direct message. So, I'm it. so can you see it? Yes, ma. All right. So click on the calculator HTML at CSS. Then you can start the calculator setup. And sign in the way I said we should sign in. So let's start that exercise. But if you have any questions, you can ask me so I'll put you through. But that's what we should start with this morning. Okay, ma, I was asking that are we to join the bootcamp? Like, are we doing the exercises now as classwork? Hello? Mm. Ma, can you hear me? I think uh facilitator has network issues, so let's just wait for her.
Hello, can you hear me? Can someone hear me? Like, just say something if you can you hear me. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, I hear you now. Okay, thank you. So, before Miss Titi comes, so I was saying that your assignment and everything, I know I've not been able to send the uh, mail and everything because it's not ready yet. So, please, you can just be putting your assignment in the folder. Then, when it's time to submit, you can just share the folder and everything, and she can have access. So, when the mail and everything is ready, it's something you can just submit at once instead of your work to be scattered and everything. Do we understand? Because yes, it's part of you putting yes, it in your folder do. and everything. It's part of you building your own portfolio and everything. So that's just what I'm trying to say. So just try and put it in your folder and keep it safe. Okay, <laughs> if that's you. what I'm meant to use. And again, please can we can we try not to join the class late? Seriously, it's not nice. Software, please. Like now you're five, ten people in class. Ah, could die. It's not nice at all. Please let's try. I know we are busy. I know we are doing something else. So please let's just endeavor to, to, to come to class on time. And um, at least our class captain. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? And so, at least you can just like brief us for those that did not join on time because I know you are our class, you are our class. You can like brief them of what they actually missed. <laughs> like the first class and everything, the first section, like before people started joining, you can kind of like brief them on what they've missed. If you have an idea about it. Oh, she's here already. She's here. Okay. So there's no need. Thank okay. you. Let me make her order. Okay. So I'm um, sorry. Uh, that, uh, but did we get what I told us? Or oh, we've not gotten that yet? No, we haven't gotten it. You see that we are going to watch the video. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Yes. And the instructions you see there, you follow it. Is there a classwork or assignment? The classwork is a classwork. What to start it now? And do it now. Okay. So can you so, see? Are we so doing we it on our classwork? I don't understand. You do it in your assignment folder. Your classwork folder is more of the next thing that we have to do there is CSS. I've not started CSS. That's why everything on our classwork folder is on old now, right? Because what we're supposed to do at that end is CSS. So when we start CSS, and we would start CSS tomorrow. So today, why isn't today to round up everything that there is to round up in HTML? So that's how we're doing this. Is that clear? Ma, please, I didn't get what you said. We should watch the video. Okay, okay. You've downloaded the zip file, right? I said we um the last thing we have to do in HTML is this calculator, right? So I have sent the material for the calculator. That's the link I said. So I said. Hello, please. Yeah. Please, I can't. Yeah, hello, please. I can't find where the calculator is. Can you go back and show, like, okay. where it is? Okay. So when you click on the link, right, you see something like this. You see something like this, right? You can see this, yeah. right? So I said, don't log yeah. in. Here. Scroll down, come to the last part. So if you see this last part, you can see here, you can see introduction to CSS, introduction to... Me, I've logged in, you know. I created um, an account. But, um, did you create a free account or an account that asks you to pay? A free account. Okay, so if you've calculated your, um, created your free account, come to this place where you can see... Um, calculator HTML accesses. Okay. It's just 48 
It's just for the next minute. But which zip file do you say we should download now? I didn't say you should download any zip file. You can just like pick it up from there. This is how the first one is. The last thing we're going to work on is this calculator. So in order to get started, make sure you download the zip files here uh, from our instructions up here at the very top. Okay, okay so this is the zip file up here. It came up when she was teaching. Is yet yes, the link to this as well. So download it. This is it here. So let me download it and send it to us. So this is it. This is the instruction. Let me send this zip file to us. I'll send it to us on the group chat. So I've sent it to the group chat. I've sent the zip file to the group chat. Have you all seen it? Yes. All right. So that's the zip file. So let's download the zip file and unzip it and continue. So this is just going to take us 48 minutes for us to do it. So let's start. That's our classwork for today. So even if we don't finish before our break, we'll continue after our break. Then after our break, we'll ensure that we don't have anything left on HTML. I don't understand what you just said. My network is fluctuating. Okay, so if you've gotten to this stage, right, of the link I've sent, you're supposed to sign in free. So where you sign in free, where you click on introduction to calculator, HTML and CSS, you're supposed to click on that. So when you click on that, when you start this calculator setup, right, there's a link that you need to get access to the calculator files and everything. So I've downloaded that link and I've sent it to the group chats. So do you oh, get that now, Eniola? Yes, yes, I get, thank you. All right, so then you will now continue with the videos. Well, okay. So at your spare time, right, you can look at how she explained her own HTML and if possible the CSS just to gain more knowledge, right? Is is a material that I can recommend for you. But we'll also start CSS tomorrow in class and we'll be having a good time. Then next week, Monday, I'll with I'll take us through GitHub. But before then, there's also GitHub in this course. You can look through GitHub, right? I'll also be explaining it in class because you need it for your project. And next week, one day also, I would join us into groups, right, for our projects that we'll be doing. So next week, one day, we'll get our groups, we'll get our projects. Then from Tuesday to um, Thursday, we'll be working on our projects. Even when we come to class, we'll work on it. After class, we'll work on it. But this week, we'll use this week to do CSS. All true. So is that clear? 
Have you all gotten it now? If you've gotten it, can you drop an emoji for me in the group chat so that I know that you are with me? <laughs> All right, so let Moses have gotten it. Okay, Anu. Okay, Chinedu. Okay, Idris. Merive, Dimola. Are those the only people that have gotten it? Okay, Elise. Who else? Okay, Miriam. Miriam, I really love your project. Well done. Miriam, prior to this time, do you have an idea? Um, do you have any idea? Yeah, I mean, do you know about HTML and CSS before? Or this is just your first step? No, I have an idea before, but it's not really a concrete idea. It's just, oh. I was learning before, self-learning on code academy. So, oh, okay, okay. Okay. Well, this class I was like more of like a catalyst into. Yes, exactly. Like it's more like an hands-on practical class for me also. Okay, okay. That's great because I really loved your project. And it, it amazed me because I've not even taught you guys um what's the name i've not taught you css right and i loved what you did with your html and it was not something that was far fetched it was something i was mentioning in class i saw how you use yeah, your yeah. color you use your yeah, color I have to go back to the lectures you gave us on w3 schools and then not to just implement it like that Okay. That was what I was saying. I wasn't sure self that there are some codes I probably wrote that were probably not supposed to be there or something. Mm -hmm. the, the, the only mistake that I could see was that in that your forgotten password, uh, forgotten, uh, forgotten this thing, right? Yes. You, know, you just had an underline, like a underline, right? In yeah, like the link. Facebook page. Facebook page yes. itself does not have an underline. It's when you click mm -hmm. on it, you have an underline. Yes, use it as a link. Well, I don't yes, know I the style do. you used that made the underline show there permanently. And you didn't do your sign up. You only did the login. But, yes, I only did the login. Yeah, but with the login, I actually, like, you just showed that, yes, you're willing to learn. And with the little you had, you could go. And it was not like your CSS was something far-fetched. It was simple things that yes, spoke yes, about yes. before in class. Yes. So well done. Thank you, ma. You're welcome. So that was the only thing that I noticed that was not perfectly done. But every other, you even got the bro, um, brother videos. Yes. Of how it should look like. I had to yeah. check on God before that too. Because oh, before no. it was, I wanted rounded corners. When I checked Facebook um, website, they are, um, is it the text area? It was rounded corners they had. So I had to like check on Google for how to actually get the rounded corner. Mm -hmm. And I found that I could actually use Boda Radio to actually get that. Yes, yes. Before you came, actually, I've shared your um, assignment to the group chat. I didn't even know it was you. I, I don't think somebody sent the assignment to me and I really liked it. So I shared it to the group chat, show them your code. So before I now checked again and I saw your name, that it was me. Then I was looking for you and you were nowhere to be found. That's when I now messaged you that where, where are you that you're not in class? Yeah, I was in transit. Yeah, yeah, you said so. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. So have we started the calculator? Have we started the calculator project? I thought you were even an expert already for you to have pulled it out. Oh, I'm still <laughs> amazed that I'm still talking I'm about an expert. I'm still a beginner. Oh, okay. For a beginner, we need to learn, sure. Yes, yes. The moment when you get the basics, actually, you'll be able to kick it off. Yeah. And it's not every time you figure things out, right? But yeah, if you have an exactly. idea of what you are trying to do, you can always Google. Stack Overflow is your best friend at this stage as a beginner stack overflow flow always use stack overflow it helps out Thank you. so 
so um Ozioma, what i meant was i sent a zip file right that had all your calculator set up so i've sent it to the group chat so when you are done so when we're done i'm expecting to um expecting every single one of us now nobody's left out because we're all doing it in class now so before we go out of this class everybody's going to share me their screen and i'm going to see their calculator run so make sure you are doing it i'm not going to get here any excuse right this class now everybody is involved Miss so sure yes. Please, I'm trying. I'm finding it difficult to unzip the file you sent. Extract it. Extract it. Where are you? Where are you trying to unzip? It's on your laptop. Yeah, it's on my laptop. Okay, let me show you how to extract. Thank you. So, can you see my screen? Yes, I can. All right. So let's start from downloads. So this is the file, right? So I click on it. Can you see extract up here? Is in our file. Yes, extract. I can. Okay. Then you click on the extract, right? Then you say extract, or then you look for the five parts. If you want to extract it inside this download, should still be in download, right? Select folder extract so can you see i've extracted it these two things were there github and then inside the github we have our beginning so we can just open this beginning just open it this beginning so what you just is that you just come here come to open folder from file open folder I then right download this GitHub, then open <laughs> the beginning folder. All right, let me start it. It's first. So can you see? Yes. So this is the beginning. So we already have the beginning. Mm -hmm. So you use this beginning to do everything that you need to do. The beginning also has a CSS. This is the beginning of the CSS. And they've also oh, done the God. end. This is the end. But follow through with the video. Don't just jump to the end. If you just jump to the end, I will know. Ma, please, uh, can it be extracted with a phone? Eh? Can, can, I, can it be extracted with a phone? No, no, no. You have to use an app to extract it. My the one I um the one I extracted is only showing me transcript too. Okay. It's not showing. It's not supposed to show transcript. It depends on what you click. Can you see what my own is showing me now? Okay. We are we extracting. Like it's just showing me only the, the text, the text, this thing, nothing else. The zip file. This is also the zip file I just extracted now. I see what it's showing me. Can you see the buttons? Ah. So I'll extract again for you. Or how did you pick the wrong file? Because the one I sent on the group chat, right? Don't I look can't at this my WhatsApp. Code. My WhatsApp web is too slow. It's not working. I shorted it for another from this site. They played the they they wrote them. So don't look at this mouse go. But look at this GitHub here. Don't click on this mouse go something. Click on this GitHub here. Yeah, when you click on the GitHub, you can see the instructions. Is it the GitHub that was is I'm um, extracted? Yes. But my own is saying transcript. Let me see. Share your screen. Let me see. I can't share my screen. I'm not using my system for. I'm using my phone. Okay. But if it's that you extracted it the way I showed, showed us. Now. Should we have to click on resources now? So we should click no. on this of this resources there. 
I've sent it already to the group chat. So just extract it from the group chat. <laughs> what you are going to extract? I've sent it to the group chat already. Can I send this one? Can you hear me? Maybe it's because she's using her phone. I'm using my phone. Now I'm saying I'm using my phone. Okay. I can't I've get sent it. What you are extracting to the group chat, so you don't even have to download anything to extract anymore because I've sent it to the group chat. Do you understand? Like you said, I said I can't extract it with my phone. I'm not using my system for. Okay, okay, oh yeah. Let me show you how to do that. Did you get to this place? If you go to this place, the beginning of this video, of, um, what's it called? In this I'm not using my system for Zoom off. Okay. Let me send the link. Let me try to send the link. May I extract it from here? So I extract it from here, right? So when you get to this page, you just come here. Can you see this page that says download? Then you download it from here. What I'm downloading is 84.48. <laughs> so for the extraction, what you will just do is that the place where it is extracted, you go there. Is in download. Then this is all we're extracting. The moment you click on it, you see extract. So you click extract, then you say extract all. Then when you say extract all, when you click on extract all, it will tell you, ask you which page you want to extract it to. Then you see where you want to extract it to. And you have your page. I've answered all of the questions. Uh, with the so if you want to access the word on the group chat, I've sent a link you can use, right? I've sent a link. So use this link. Then when you get to this link, you see download here, then download it. By now, we should be around. Yeah, we're extracting it to. You're extracting it to your folder now. When you extract the assignment it, folder. You, you don't want to see the assignment folder. You can, if you want to, where are we extracting it? You can extract it to the assignment folder or to any folder. The most important thing is that you should get the calculator extension. And also watch the video. Okay, he wants to have access. So when we've extracted the documents, right, we'll just open that folder from our VS code on our VS code. When we open the folder on our VS code, it will take us through it. So I'm going to take us through the whole process again from the beginning. So for everybody that was not here before, this is an opportunity for you to get it, right? I'll reshare my screen.
All right, so this was the first link I sent. From this link, I told us to log in using the free account. And the free account is found down. When you get to open the, this front enters dot com dot bootcamp. You scroll down to the last page. Then you scroll down to the last page, then you sign up there. When you finish signing up and you've logged in, then you come back, scroll back up. Then you see this calculator project and HTML, click on it. So when you click on it, come in. It's going to take you here. We then in this, and Brian is going to teach you how to make. So they are said the calculator exercise and opens the project file from the zip file. So the zip file is I'm coming. I guess this is also the zip file. The zip file I've sent it to the group chat actually. But this is what the zip file should have. You can also open this one. So our goal is to calculate something that looks exactly like this, right? This is the exercise file. Download the exercise file, which I've downloaded for us. And I sent it to the group chat. Then these are a few things you need to know. To get symbols for us, you have to look up their HTML codes. One place to do that is there. You can go here to check the HTML math character, HTML arrow character. And they said the button, the calculator button should be clickable. That is when you click it. Then they also gave the colors they use. They use black, white, light gray, button on over, active, function, function buttons. Then they also said how you should go about it. They said create a wrapper with a width of 400 pixels to set up the calculator. Determine how many rows and columns we need. Identify elements that occupy more than one column. Determine the HTML tag required to code rows and cells. Call a single rule of four elements to start with and see if you can get that working. Then now say, now add the other rows of four elements. Then finally add the rows where there are fewer than four elements, right? Then they gave us int on what to do. So if you come back here, I told us to extract and I've shown us how to extract. So the moment when we extract, I've already extracted, we'll come to our CSS, right? We'll click on open folder. So the place that we've already extracted, see, I extracted this GitHub. When I extracted the GitHub, you know, it's not a document, it's in downloads. So when I extracted, it brought out this Marcos X and what five GitHub. Is this five GitHub I clicked on? And I clicked on beginning. So when I click on beginning, I'm opening the beginning folder. So when I open the beginning folder, it has opened on my CSS, right? And now that it has opened on my CSS, I can now use it. So can you see? This is now the code. This is the beginning of the code. Then from watching the videos, I can now be adding everything I need to add in order to give us our end results. So for the person that asks how do we open it in HTML, have you seen it? Sorry, can you can you go back again? Where should I Sorry. go back to? Like the extraction point, when you have the two macros S and GitHub. Okay. So can you see the downloads, right? So in this download, can you see the downloads? So what extract? This is the extracted page in Israel form without us extracting, right? So if you now want to extract, you click on this. The moment you click on it, you see extract compressed two files up here. Then you click on that. So when you click on that, you see extract all. You click on extract all, then it will tell you the part at which you want to extract it. Like where do you want to extract it to? Then you browse. 
do you want to extract it in your downloads or you want to go extract it in your documents or you want to extract it to your pc or you want to extract it to your desktop and uh, desktop so anyway you want to extract you then to you select the folder and when you select the folder you have your extraction then when it's extracted you have this and this right so when you have these two all you will do is that is this one inside here that you now open your visual studio code so that the beginning the beginning here is this one that you open your visual studio code so yes that's okay it. as you we open the i the begin file with um that code yes yes all right do we get it now do we get it now yeah yeah for me and we should also watch the video to see how she did it at every step and at every time so if it's this if you don't still get it let me know i don't mind explaining it again Please, can I send you what is showing me on WhatsApp? Yes, you can. Ah. Oh, 
Have you logged in? The video will not play if you do not log in. But make sure you log in in the free browsing part. Right? Hello, ma. Ma, please, yeah. I have a question. Have you seen I what I think? I thought you were going to show us how to code the calculator your own way. Then later on, we'll go through the video on the front end master's website. Why I didn't do that was because the um this thing that we need, I've already sent it to us, right? The files that we need to do that, I've sent it to us. Do you guess? Yes. So I've sent the file to us. Have you seen what I sent on the group? Yes, mm -hmm. I've seen it and I've opened it on my on my system. So I thought maybe you were going to like show us how to code it from scratch your own way. Then later on, we we'll go through the file that was sent to us as a zip file. Then also use the video stream. Yes, I've seen what you sent. So those are the files we need, right? So if you've gotten that file, then we'll start off. Is it the is it going to show calculator? Yes, in the like in the individual the, video code. No, when you browse, when you browse about it, right? Look at so this how the end part. I'm coming. It's not bringing out codes. It's just bringing out calculator and we work on creating calculator for some, 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 some. That's not what I saw on, on your this thing. You know. I can see the end result that I was expecting to see. I think she's not opening it on, what's it called? She's not opening the files on, on Visual Studio. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, I opened the file. Open it on Visual Studio code. I went to open control, folder. Control o, then go to the file you copied, you extracted. The M uh, the five G top. Yeah, the one you extracted. Yes, click control o, like, like open on your on your what's it called Visual Studio. Then go and click on go and go to the I'm files. I'm not hearing then. you. I'm not hearing what you're saying. Click as in go to the files and open like control o on your Visual Studio. Do you get that? I should then go, go to, to my. I should open open, open Visual down, Studio. Right? Open Visual Studio. Okay. Then click Control O. Control O. Yes, letter O. Okay. You need to open a file. It takes your folder part. So go to the folder you extracted, and click on one of the things you want to open. Then it will open the the thing. I should click the calculator instruction or the calculator step or begin. You can go to begin. Start from begin. Since that is where you started, begin. It's not, is that it for file name? Let me, let me check here. What even? Go to begin and calculator. Inside begin is calculator. They open calculator. Calculator instruction or calculator spec? Calculator inside begin. Okay, yes. I've As you open it. Now. Open it. Yeah, open it. Okay, that's command? what a dog type. Exactly. So you can open the CSS like folder to up. That's like the CSS part of that thing. But what the woman is explaining, that's like the is it the CSS? Is the CSS is it for the one of Mac something something? No, it's still like where you open the calculator, the CSS there to a folder above. But you showing me calculator does CSS there. Yeah, same thing. Open it, yeah, open that one. That's it. 
Okay, that calculator is CSS. Yeah, border exactly. box, in box sizing, border box. Exactly. Before so, and after. Okay. Continue so that the video is, now. Exactly. So we can follow the video now. Okay, but is it giving me the calculator spec and GD in the same I get, folder? I don't get what you're saying. Seriously. The calculator that I snapped. Is I can't see me. the one you snapped. Like, okay. It's on the group chat. Okay, let me the check. The first one. The two in your lap. Is it bringing it uh, in my virtual studio code as calculator instruction and calculator spec dot PNG? Should I just delete them? I know that's how you say for Did my visual studio code? Wait, let me snap it and send it. This one, this thing. This is that I just sent. Okay. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Uh, the calculator picture, but... Yes, I should leave it there. I should just delete it. No, that's, it's not... Is that one opened in HTML? In that one is opened studio? in my virtual studio code. You can close, just close that one. It's not important. Just close that one. That's just okay. the picture. Continue. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. That's what you want to build, actually. Like the picture of what you want to build. So, that's oh, okay. oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. How many of us has gone far? If you've not gone far and you are still lost, right? So I'll take us through the whole process and we're going to do it together. Because it seems like this method is bringing in a lot of confusion, right? It's causing a lot of confusion. So if you've not gone far, though our break is in the next five minutes. So in the next, uh, when we come back from 11, We'll go through everything to like we'll do everything together. We'll start from the very beginning and we'll go through everything together. Is that fine? Because some people are asking that why don't we take you guys? All right, so I'll take you through it together. Don't worry. We'll do it together from like the very beginning. And we come back from our break. But in four minutes time, we'll have our break. Yes, do you have a suggestion for like for your taking of the class? All right. What's the suggestion? My suggestion is that since all of us are now on, like on the same level, and some people have started. For those who have not, like everybody would have gotten to a particular point. So I'm just thinking that maybe if we come back from the break, like you give us like some 20 minutes, then you just weigh everybody's progress. If you have to like take us from the beginning again, because this is a classwork. Like I have to like pay attention to what you are saying. It's kind of like interfering with what we are doing. So I, maybe you just take like a, a I was a asking questions one to ten. right? Were you in this class from the beginning? Yes, I was. Like from the very, very beginning since nine. Like this morning, yes. I've been asking questions since in the morning. That what like which aspect of the HTML don't you understand? So that I can put you through because I knew that okay, today's the last no, day. I'm not talking about the general, I'm talking about this class work. What about the classwork? You don't understand the process. You said no, I'm not talking. I'm I'm saying that if you want to start taking us from the beginning, some people have started already. Like I, I've also started, like I don't really have any issues. We have to okay. like pay attention so that we don't miss out. So it's kind of, it's be kind of like interfering. So I'm just oh. suggesting that after the break, we can just take a sample of how many people are finding it difficult. 
okay, or you give okay, us some okay. like 20 minutes and we are our progress okay 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 okay, okay. i get you now i get you all right okay. yeah. all right all right all right that will work thank you for the feedback thank you for the suggestion so i'll do that right so then for people that don't understand what the classwork is all about we all take it together well in the next two minutes we'll Sorry, Miss City. Are we going for a break now? Yes, yes, we can. Okay, okay. Um, oh, we can end the listing. <laughs>